Kanye West says he is in it to win it as he opens up for the very first time since tweeting about his White House run. In a quote, the rapper and performer says, I am taking the red hat off. This is in an interview with Forbes magazine. I'm not saying Trump, uh, Trump's in my way. He may be a part of my way. And Joe Biden, like, come on, man, please. You know, Obama's special. Trump's special. We say Kanye West is special. America needs special people that lead. Bill Clinton, special. Joe Biden's not special. All right, here to react, National Press Secretary for the Trump 2020 campaign, who would also say Joe Biden is not special. I'll just jump ahead to the <laughs> final answer there, is uh, Hogan Gidley. Hogan's made the transition from the White House to the campaign. Hogan, first off, uh, um, Mick Mulvaney yesterday said if it's Trump against Biden, Trump will do well. But if it's Trump and a referendum on him, he will struggle there. Do you agree? Uh, Trump's going to do well and win either way. Kelly Ann made a point yesterday, I think, from the White House North Lawn that, uh, you know, when you're debating with yourself, it's a little bit more difficult. But Trump is so unique. He's so powerful and so strong, and he's been so well accomplished throughout his life. Uh, that he's been so successful. His first run for politics, he won the presidency of the United States. He'll do it again, regardless of what the media and the detractors try and take away from him. Uh, the American people cannot be denied all the success and the positive uh, things that have occurred because of this president's policies. Let's talk about the, the WHO, because the president officially has sent out a notice that the United States is going to withdraw from the WHO, effective 2021. Joe Biden heard this. He said, on day one, I'm going to reverse this. He said, we need to restore our leadership on the world stage. And this is what he tweeted. Americans are safer when America is engaged in strengthening global health. On my first day as president, I will rejoin the WHO and restore our leadership on the world stage. Why does the president specifically want to uh, withdraw? Why did he withdraw? And what's your reaction to Biden. Well, we've spent hundreds of billions of dollars in the WHO, and the way you combat these types of uh massive global pandemics is with information. They have not been forthcoming whatsoever. In fact, they've actually covered up for China's malfeasance. They're the bad actors here. This was created, uh, developed, came from China. Everyone now knows that, and Joe Biden continues to show his true colors here. He'd rather protect China than America. You see it time and time again, and that tweet points that out beautifully. And that's what the American people have to understand. There's a clear choice here. You don't have to guess what this country would look like under uh, a President Biden. Uh, I hate to even say the words. You don't have to guess. You've seen it. Uh, Joe Biden wants to defund the police. He'll allow our, uh, our cities uh, to devolve into this hellscape. People just looting and rioting smashing in storefronts, stealing people's merchandise. He's allowed all that, has not called that out in any way. He's been silent. And the only time he even pipes up is to say the WHO is doing a good job and I'll refund what, uh, I'll put the money back in uh, for them. They've been horrible on the global stage. We can't fight these pandemics. We can't stop what's going on around this country and in the world without information. The WHO was part and parcel with China. The problem with getting information out around uh, the globe. And the world suffered because of it. Yeah. And people like Joe <clears throat> Biden would allow that to continue. Hogan, let me ask you, uh, going back to Kanye West for a second. Uh, you know, he says he's running for president. Uh, clearly, if he does run, uh, it would help Donald Trump rather than uh, Joe Biden. And in fact, um, according to the Forbes item that he did, he said he's okay siphoning off black votes from Joe Biden to help Trump, not denying that. He does say he's going to take off the red cap, though, after that particular interview. Uh, I, I know yesterday the president told a real clear politics that he thinks that Kanye's too late because a bunch of uh, deadlines have passed for getting on the ballot and stuff like that. But does the president encourage Kanye to run? Uh, because it would help Donald Trump in the conventional wisdom way. Uh, and has anybody from Kanye's group or Kanye himself spoken to the president or anybody in the campaign? Well, not to my knowledge, and I haven't spoken directly with the president about uh, Kanye's candidacy, but let's be clear, the president said it would be interesting. Uh, we'll see what happens, of course, as the president likes to say. I was actually in a lunch with the president of the United States, Kanye West, Jim Brown, and just a couple of others. Uh, he has a lot of, of interesting ideas. I'm sure we'll be looking forward to finding out more about those ideas in the coming weeks and months as he continues this run for, pre for president. But Kanye was very clear in those comments you played earlier, and that is... Uh, 
it was a scathing indictment of the Democrat Party, not just their policy on abortion with Planned Parenthood, but also the policies that have disproportionately affected African Americans in a negative way. This president came into office and did things that President Barack Obama and Joe Biden never thought about doing. In fact, Joe Biden's been in politics for 40 plus years. He's still complaining about the same things today he was decades ago. We came in and immediately this president pushed and got done criminal justice reform, uh, historic funding for HC, HBCUs, in fact, codifying it into law so they didn't have to come back every year and ask for it, not to mention the opportunity zones right. in which the inner cities saw massive wage increases, more so than the rest of the country, in fact, because of the influx of uh, infrastructure and capital into those communities. That's all done by Donald Trump. His record speaks right. for itself, and we'll put it up against anybody. And we just want to say that uh, the president, uh, uh, Vice President Biden never said he would defund the police. Uh, that is something that uh, many people on the Democratic side have said. But let's just move on. I know on Saturday, you guys are going to be in New Hampshire. It's going to be at, an, at the Portsmouth Internet. It's going to be at the Portsmouth International Airport. So is this going to be an open air rally? If so, um, what other precautions are you going to do to try to minimize the chance of the virus spreading? And number three, what kind of crowd do you expect? Well, look, uh, all of Donald Trump's uh, rallies and all of his events are electric. There's no doubt about that. The enthusiasm for him is something like I've never seen before. We are providing masks for all of the attendees, encouraging them to wear them as well. And we're providing hand sanitizer for those. It is an open air hangar, as you just pointed out, both indoor and outdoor. There'll be some people out on the tarmac as well. So it should be an incredible event. Listen, the president wants to go in there and talk about all the accomplishments he's, he's uh, done in his first term and how he's made people's lives better. It answers the age old question. Are you better off now than you were before? And the answer, mm -hmm undoubtedly is yes and that strikes it, true Hogan, really and, and across this country with the pandemic now the you know you know that the growth is not there you know the unemployment's still 11 percent so you can't really say you're better off than you were three years ago because of at the very least the pandemic so you can't really oh, say that right no, no, absolutely. Of course you can say that because, listen, this global pandemic uh, hit all of us, not just here in this country, but across the world. This president took a leadership role and was criticized for canceling flights, for example, from China, from Europe, by the likes of Joe Biden, who said it was a bad move, said it was racist, said it was xenophobic, and now had to come back and admit, yeah, it was probably the right thing to do. This president saw the numbers, 2.2 million people projected dead in America. So as of right now, now, this president's policies, this president's decisions, his leadership has saved almost two million lives in this country. I put that up against anybody. And as this economy begins to rebound, you saw last month 10 times the growth ever in one month. Uh, and then, of course, in June, 20 times the growth than ever before in one month. This economy is roaring back. Listen, this president rebuilt this economy once. He will rebuild it again. Joe Biden's policies prevented people from right. having jobs in the past. He's hoping coronavirus does it for him in the future. But this president wants to continue the growth forward so that the American people can get back to work, back to school, and our country can get back to being how great uh, he made it the first time. All right, Hogan, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much. You're